Hey, what's going on out there? I would like to welcome every single one of you to Water Your Soil. So before I get into the video, if you're new over here, I have two rules to this channel. The first rule is for you to always use your own discretion when it comes to credit cards and your credit score. The second rule is for you to always verify whatever it is you learn, whether it's on this channel, another channel or anywhere that should be a rule of life. So getting into the video, this video is one that I really wasn't planning on doing until I saw the news yesterday. I like to check credit scoring news and credit card news for my subscribers and for the people who come by my channel so I can share with them. The goal was to educate you all on what's going on in the news and how it impacts us, whether in a positive or a negative way. So yesterday, a new ruling was put into place courtesy of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, who I talk about often on this channel. And it's a ruling that credit card late fees are now being changed from being capped at $32 to $8. But the ruling that's set to go into place is that these credit card companies, the large ones, that is, they can no longer charge more than $8 for a late fee unless they're able to prove that the late fees cover the cost. Now, one thing that I want to say to you all, come close, come in close, come close. All right. You all should know better. If you're here on this channel, you should know that this $8 cap on late fees is not going to benefit people the way they believe. And I'm just going to get right into it with the examples of why this is not the flex, as the kids would say, this is not the flex that you think it is. So one of the main problems with things in life that people don't tend to grasp very well is every action has a reaction. So when they set into place that $8 is the cap for late fees, that's the highest these banks could go. How in the world do people believe that this is going to be a win overall on the back end? Guess what's going to end up happening nine times out of 10 or maybe even 10 times out of 10 on the back end? The other fees that banks charge is going to go up as well as the interest that they charge is more than likely going to go up. Why? Because these banks are in the business of making money. As I stated in a couple of previous videos that I just did on this channel, you can check them out. I stated that banks make their money from fees, late fees, other fees, interest, your deposits and investments. So banks are in the business of making money. I mean, it's a bank. So if you hit their pocket in one place, they're going to hit our pockets in another. And this is just what it is. Even in the article is mentioned that there's a high possibility of this happening on the back end. So while everyone is celebrating and they're ecstatic and they're happy, I've seen so many people talk about this on social media and they were just hyping it up like, yeah, you know, eight dollars to me. This is just to me. But to me, this is like telling someone if they commit a crime, they now instead of getting 15 years, the max that they'll get is five years. And what are you going to encourage people to do by doing that? If someone is a criminal or criminal minded, they're going to be OK with doing the crime even more. Now, they're going to be like, hey, I only get five instead of 15. The same thing applies when it comes to these late fees. The people that I talk to on this channel, I tell my subscribers, pay your balance in full. Don't be late. Pay on time. So I'm not really talking to the crowd that should be ecstatic about late fees being eight dollars. No one should really be celebrating this except for people who actually plan on being late. If you pay your bills on time, this is really not a win for you because, you know, on the back end, it may come back to bite us all. And if you don't believe it's going to come back to bite us all on the back end, you have some more research to do. You have some more verifying to do because the possibility of it coming back to bite us is much higher than it not. And one of the things that I would like to see happen, but I know it's not going to happen because that's society these days. But I would like to see people stop getting rewarded for doing the things that they shouldn't be doing. Like you're rewarding people for being late. I understand there are people who are just barely getting by and they're struggling financially. I've been there before. How can I forget? I'll never forget where I've been. 
However, when it comes to credit cards, credit cards are something that requires people to be responsible. If you're not responsible with a credit card, it's going to come back and it's going to bite you. You're going to be paying a lot of interest. You're going to be paying those late fees and you're going to end up in credit card debt. And some people, they just have the mentality of, hey, if I end up in credit card debt, I'll just write it off or I'll just dispute it in the future once it goes to collections. But a lot of times it don't work like that. You will never know when you'll need your credit. So getting into other facts regarding the article, which I'm leaving below in the description box so you can read it in full. They're estimating that this is going to save families $10 billion all across the board from late fees. Now, the fact that they're estimating it is going to save families $10 billion lets you know where things are right now when it comes to credit card debt. It just continues to back up the credit card debt numbers being over $1 trillion. It just continues to grow and it's going to continue to grow with things like this. It's just going to continue to grow and get bigger and larger and larger. And then pretty soon people will be asking for it to be forgiven. And it's just going to continue to go on. There's no responsibility being taught. And this is something I'm going to continue to talk about on this channel. I know some of you out there, you don't like it and you're not fans of it. But I like to teach responsibility when it comes to these credit cards, because if you're not responsible, it can hurt you. They also mentioned that late fees generated $14 billion for these banks in 2022. Now, that's also more in regards to that number that I mentioned as far as credit card debt being over $1 trillion. Of course, they're going to get $14 billion back because credit card debt is over $1 trillion. That means people are carrying over balances and there's a good possibility that some of the people who are carrying over those balances are late on their credit card payments. So I'm not surprised that is $14 billion that was generated in 2022 for these credit card companies. I'm not surprised by that at all. It says that the rule will be published shortly in the federal registry. Then after that, it takes 60 days for it to go through. Like I stated, some people are celebrating. A lot of people are celebrating. They're celebrating this as a win. I don't really see it as a win because I know how these banks operate. They're going to get their money on the back end, whether they try to hit people when it comes to other things such as interest or even rewards. We can see a change in credit card rewards now and how they distribute credit card rewards. We're going to see it on the back end. Please believe that. There's no law or rule in place that we won't see it on the back end. And as I stated, they even mentioned it in the article that these car issuers do adjust to things like this and be looking out for it. So while there are a lot of people celebrating about it, just know there is a back end theory to this and these banks are going to get their money regardless. So the best bet is for you to be responsible with your credit card and pay what you owe and pay it on time. That will help you stay out of credit card debt. It will also help your credit score. And it also should give you a peace of mind because who wants to be carrying around credit card debt and knowing people? I know everyone can't pay off what they spend, but if you're someone that can't, try to stay away from your credit card if that's the case. Don't worry about these rewards and these points if you can't afford to pay it off. But I just wanted to break this news. I'm sure other people have broken it, but I like to tell the news on my channel and I do it often, but I just wanted to get this story out to my subscribers and to the people who are watching to let them know this is not as good as a win as you may think it is. But anyways, if you're new over here, this is Water Your Soil. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss a future video because I post often. That's hitting the all button on the bell. Also, feel free to join this channel. I do have a join button on my videos that you could click on and you could become a member of this channel. Also, this goes to every single one of you watching right now, my subscribers included. Be sure to hit the like button. That's your way of showing support to this channel. It also supports this video and let the algorithm know that you like this video. I appreciate every single one of you for checking out this video. I just love to put the news out there and let you know that things aren't really what they may seem. This is Water Your Soil, and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. 
That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right? In the description box below, I always tell people, check out the description box below for extra resources from Water Your Soil. Part of the description box also showcases my book that I have. I have a book, it's been out for a while now, it's been out for years. It's titled, Strategies to Master Credit. The book is available, it's on Amazon, it's on Barnes & Noble, most online bookstores have the book. And the book is basically about how FICO credit scoring works. Once you understand how FICO credit scoring works, you're pretty much on your way to helping yourself build, develop, and maintain a good credit score. So check the book out whenever you get a chance.